Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. Dorico 5 introduces the Instrument Editor that allows you to make changes to the definition of instruments in your projects, saving them for reuse, as well as creating new instruments and variations on existing instruments, for example, new transposition variants. The Instrument Editor can be opened from the Library menu, the Jump Bar, or by choosing Edit Instrument Definition from the Instrument Context menu in Setup Mode. If you open it directly from an instrument, that instrument will be preloaded in the editor. All instruments are listed in the sidebar, and you can filter by family, use the search bar to locate a specific instrument, or filter to see only instruments that are used in the current project. Selecting an instrument in the sidebar shows its details in the main body of the editor. This first control allows you to edit the name of the instrument that is used in the instrument picker when adding players in setup mode. If the instrument is a variant, for example a particular transposition such as a clarinet, that variant name will appear here, and there's a list of families that the instrument belongs to. Fretted instruments will show a link to the Edit Strings and Tunings dialog, and Percussion Kits will let you edit the kit, both of which work in the exact same way as they do already for project instruments. The next section shows the various staff labels and again has a button that launches the Edit Instrument Names dialog. There are then controls for managing staves and clefts, which can differ in transposing layouts, setting the transposition of the instrument and the range values that dictate which notes show in red when the View Menu command Show Notes Out of Range is enabled. Let's say you would like to edit the range for the French horn. Perhaps the musician you're writing for is comfortable playing lower than the standard basic range. Open the instrument editor and amend the lower value of the basic range. Press OK and now only notes below your new range value show in dark red. If you would now like to make these new values the default for this type of horn in all future projects, you can press the star button in the editor. Uncheck the star to remove it from your defaults, or click Reset to remove your edits. Let's try adding a new instrument. New instruments are based on existing instruments. I would like to create a specific cantor based on the baritone singer instrument, as I am going to be working on multiple sets of praises and responses. I can quickly find a baritone, then create a new instrument based on it. All I really need to do in this case is update the names to use for the instrument picker and staff labels. I'll click the star to save this new instrument to my user library and press OK. You'll likely find many different uses for the ability to create new instruments in Dorico. For example, you may have the need to add various early music instruments, such as a shawm or sackbutt. Or perhaps you work frequently with synthesizers and sound libraries for sketching, in which case you can define these instruments for easy reuse. What's more, you can then route your new instruments to specific sounds and build playback templates so that they play back just how you want as soon as you add them to the project. You can also create instrument variants using the editor. For example, I can choose a tenor horn and create a new variant. I want this to be a tenor horn in B flat, so I shall edit the transposition, which updates the variant name, press OK, and now the instrument is available in the instrument picker. Here, I've added a new variant of a piano that has its staff label edited to signal it is for rehearsal only. Remember to save the variant as a default if you want it to be available in other projects. And that's the instrument editor in Dorico 5. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.